thanks for staying with us here at STL Live. I'm Stacey Static, and my guest today here is Program Manager for the City of St. Louis Department of Health, Mr. Bobby Williams. So we're talking about the 23rd Annual Fatherhood Walk, so or N5K. So it's an event that's centered around families, I assume. It's, it's, it's something there for everybody. Tell me about it. It is, yes, ma'am. So the event actually starts off with our race. So those avid runners who uh, Take are- Take their 5Ks very seriously. Very seriously, yes, ma'am. We yeah. will have the bibs, we will have a time <laughs> clock. Um, the route lends itself very well. The, the natural route of the park is shaded. Um, so I, we're gonna have, uh, a, um, complimentary weather. I know there's a chance of scattered showers, but I, I, we're, we'll be okay. Right. Um, and also, we're going to have medals. So we'll have medals for the first, second, and third place male runner mm -hmm. and the first, second, third place female runner. Nice. Okay. And then those who do not place, don't worry. We still have um, participatory medals for you as well. <laughs> okay. And then after the run is over, we're going to have a walk. So the walk uh, is it's not competitive. It's more uh, about once again, the family, wives, mothers, grandmothers, uh, nieces, getting their male loved ones and their families out to do a walk, to exercise. Nice. So uh, 5K typically takes people anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes to complete. Um, the American Heart Association recommends at least three times of 60 minutes or more exercise a week or five times of 30 minutes or more a week for, of exercise. So right. you'll, we'll, you'll be working towards that goal and participate in the event. And then after everyone is done, we'll have the award ceremony. Uh, we will have uh, nutritious snacks to help um, our participants right. uh, uh, with the race so they don't get they don't uh, lose energy okay. we also have water we will make we want to make sure that our participants hydrate 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 um, and then even we'll, at our water stations we have nursing students in the event someone needs CPR or basic first aid we okay. will have that as well um, after the walk and the run the race and the walk is over we will have a skit that will be put on by chips that will help once again highlight the importance of health, preventive health in our men. Um, so that would take place. And then about that time, it's be time to wrap up oh, about okay. 11 o'clock. So will there be any food vendors, any vendors, any health screenings on yes, site at all? Yes, okay. We will have health screenings that will be provided by Affinia Healthcare. Uh, we will have other vendors that are more geared towards health, preventive health, okay. that will be on. Um, we have sponsors like my, the Office of Minority of Health, Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services. They're one of our big sponsors. Um, the City of St. Louis, of course, my agency of Department of Health will be there. We will have grab bags with preventive health information for anyone that's there. And also the YMCA has, I say, annually do, has generally, generally donated books so if you have children bring them out we have books of all reading levels available for children oh nice because my daughter's an avid reader so That's this smart. is this is a good event for the entire family That's to come out and it's been going along going on a very long time 23 yeah. years That's is smart. a lot what are some of the things that you've learned about the community and preventative health doing this event so in doing this event that men care I mean there's that misnomer that men do they, they don't care about their health but mm -hmm. it's more about our societal norms mm -hmm. it is a norm for men not to care and so what we're trying to do is engage Engagement to say, hey, care, and not only do you start caring, but pass it on to your your sons or to your younger nephews or your grandsons, so that they can start at an earlier age and be healthier for it. What are some uh, advice tips that you would give to like a, a young boy who is just like, I, you know, my daddy didn't go to the doctor. I don't believe in going to the doctor. You can't trust no doctor. Right. So <laughs> is is one that you can. And it's the important thing is getting a doctor that you trust, whether it's man or a woman. Just get someone that can call, that calls you by name, addresses you by name, that you can address by name, and that you know that they care, because medical professionals are trained to care and right. they're there to help. So, and then the second thing we like to encourage our fathers and our, our adult men: when you go to the doctor, don't go by yourself. Take your young sons with you. Take your nephews. Take your grandsons. Because as you said, that influence of seeing someone older that you care about do something positive, you're going to repeat the same behavior as well. Absolutely. You have to lead by example. Yes, and you have to maybe try out different doctors. Get referrals. Call right. people that you know. Put it on Facebook. I've seen face Facebook. People have gone on Facebook and say, you know, I'm looking for a primary care physician. Do you have any recommendations? Yes, yeah, yeah. Get that word of mouth. So make sure you sign up. Thank you so much for joining Thank me you. today and giving all of us the information about the 23rd annual Fatherhood 5K Walk, Run, and Rally. And you can visit them at runsign.com. And there's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.